Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to LS Pretty Far, guys. So today, guys, we're going to be using the uh, 2022 GMC Yukon that was released over on LSPDFAR.com. Doing some Blaine County. Uh, but I do have uh, something I wanted to discuss um, before we get started in this uh, video. I had some comments about the last video and what the video was all about. It was a special video. Uh, for the loss of a sheriff deputy in the county that I live in. Uh, we don't get that much here. This is a smaller county here in Georgia, and we don't see that. So when we get that, we honor it on this channel. We play LS Pretty Far for fun, but we also play it because we love what the police do. We love the, the interaction. We love everything about what, the, what, it, what it's about. And it's uh, as close as we can get to the real thing. So if you, if you if you if you subscribe to this channel, just sit here and, and just for this to be fun, and you don't want to hear when something bad happens, you need to unsubscribe because this is not just for fun. This is because we love this kind of thing. This is because we love this kind of interaction, this kind of mod. Um, so you know, if anyone else leaves a comment, I want to ignore it because if you don't like seeing stuff like that you don't like seeing videos like that about a fallen deputy then you need to unsubscribe to the channel because this is a it's very serious when something like that happens especially in a smaller county when you don't see that so so today we're going to go ahead and get on uh, get out here and get busy i want to get that out of the way because it really aggravated me that i got a comment about what the video was about we're not, we, we don't just do this for fun. We, we didn't do this because we enjoy it. We enjoy what we do. We enjoy playing LS50 Power. We, we, and we're thankful for the mod. And we're thankful for all these officers out here on this doing it. It does this in real life. And for someone to sit there and comment like they did, if that's what the way they feel, then don't watch. Is all I can tell you. What do we got here? Bullshit. It's my stand in the middle of the road. You've got three seconds to move. We're moving for you. when it comes down to it yes this is fun this is fun to play it's fun that you can do this kind of stuff but you know we don't just do this for fun we do this because we enjoy everything about it ID, everything about the law enforcement part of it and you know LEO servers and role plays stuff like that all that is because we enjoy this kind of thing and if you don't like that, you know, then go somewhere else and watch your content. Don't come over here and complain because this is the kind of content we're doing and expect it's going to get changed. Because it's not. Just a warning this time, okay? We just get him out of the road. Go ahead and turn on call out. I had it turned off while we was uh, getting that took care of so we're gonna see what we can get into here and um uh, let me show you this vehicle real quick i'm sorry i got i got kind of distracted on what i was talking about so this is a 2022 gmc yukon find us over on lspdpart.com this is your stage one lighting for the vehicle. Here's your TA bar. Kind of neat. It also does the front lighting on it there. All units, we've got an 11 stage two. in Grande Sonora Desert. Your stage three lighting for this vehicle. Awesome looking vehicle. Here's the interior. Does have a partition. Has a sunroof. Yep. 
Yeah. I did remove the fuel mod. For now. Um, to me it was very unlegit. So we'll go, we'll get ahead and see what we can get into. And I, I'm not just saying that, you know, for, for officers, you know, it's the same thing with EMS, fire. We have a serious MVA on Route 68, Respond Code 3. We had reports of a accident. Okay. And the vehicle we're suing is taking out. We have an officer requiring assistance in Harmony. Respond code 3. Our menu is not working. Copy that. On the way. Adam 6, copy. We'll check it That's out. That's good. On, um, Route 68. Get out of the car. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whatever. LSPD, hold it. Get on the ground, dude. We'll speak to him in just a minute. No further units oh, required. He ran from us, so we're not gonna be uh, talking too much. Let's see, is there a way to get around this fence? No, okay. You're standing right there. We'll run the plate on the vehicle and get the vehicle out of here so we can uh, get through. Okay, why not? Target vehicle license plate. Four, six, Edward, Edward. King 572. Target is 10-4. Says it's a government owned vehicle. Well. We'll see about that. Yeah, it's got three open bottles of beer in it. required in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Maybe they'll come by and just meant to pick it up when we get through here. There we go. Knock the fence down. Carbine with multiple keys, an unloaded Colt handgun, an empty emergency window pouch, and an expired out of out of state gun permit with another person's name, a Blaine County savings and bank card. An 
officer in need of assistance, a stolen police vehicle. I want to test the weapon. The coal. Stolen. But he's got a lot of charges on him. I'm gonna pull out here to the road area here. You write up, write up his paperwork. Okay, let's see here. All right, he's gonna get fleeing from us. Evading police. He also had a stolen weapon on him. So I think that's what we're going to get him for. We'll go ahead and get a transport to come pick him up. Required in Grande Sonora Desert. I did like, I had to say, I do like the lights on this GMC. It looks really good. Did that call today because last time I done it, it crashed. It lost pretty far. Uh, that call out pad just updated, so I don't know if they done something when they updated the call out pack that's causing that call out to crash now. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time before we do it again just to make sure maybe they'll update again and fix whatever issue they was having. Turn around that vehicle, they had a warrant. And catch up to it. And I haven't fixed the sound yet, guys, for this um, GMC either. Target vehicle license plate, 85 Nora Charles Young 883, a warrant issued, approach with caution. So we're going to get one backup unit out here. Assistance required in Grand We're in unmarked, so I want to at least have one marked unit out here. Good morning, ladies. 
Deputy Burnett with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. We're going to stop you today because uh, our ARPR system picked up that someone in the vehicle has a warrant for their arrest. May I see some ID, please? Okay, police bed is picking up a small odor, Thanks. a strong odor of alcohol from the vehicle. So there's alcohol in the vehicle. We're going to get the passengers May I see some ID. ID. Please? Thanks. Alright, so we're gonna ask about ask questions here about alcohol if it'll let me. I've changed this out so I'm looking and I've gotta see if it's gonna let me do this. It says equipment investigate. Let's see. See if anyone's been drinking. Yes, I had two beers about three hours ago. Okay. Right before I left, it's just a shot. Okay. Any drugs? Okay. All right, lady, sit tight. We'll be right back with you. So they're admitting to um, taking some alcohol, drinking some drinks. So. All right, so we're going to run both their names. She has a warrant. Look, it may be the driver that has the warrant. She's clean. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get, get them out of the vehicle. All right, we're gonna have her have her follow me over here in front of her vehicle. We're gonna do a breathalyzer on her, a test. Come out this way. That's good. No way. Let's see if she's the one that's been drinking too. We know she has a warrant. I mean, if the passenger has been drinking, that's okay. I mean, as long as she's a passenger, we, we can just maybe call her a taxi or something because she can't take the vehicle. Well, if there's nothing in the vehicle, we'll let her take it, but... She's going to be going for her warrant, if nothing else. Thanks. You were going straight to jail. Okay, asshole. so she has a warrant for her arrest. That's that's why she's going to be placed into custody. Jesus Christ! Have the searcher. Oh, hell! 
It has one gram of a baggie of white powder and a total bank card. Alright, at this time, man, we're gonna attempt to tank you until know, we get everything under control there. here. You're under arrest! You're not being arrested right now, we're just detaining you. And do we check out everything else? You just stand right there. We're going to search the vehicle. Vehicle's clean. Alright, so we're going to just test her real quick. Okay, she's good on that. Thanks. Uh, she's in possession of cocaine. Well, she won't be taking the vehicle though. I'm gonna get it towed. She has one gram bag. Right. So we're gonna um, be arrested her for having drugs on her. And at this time we're gonna put her in our vehicle. Heroin. I heard doors. Okay, why didn't she get out of the vehicle? Back in the vehicle. Really? I, I don't know why she got out. Dispatch to all SWAT units. We have a possible 148 in Grande Sonora Desert. Units respond code 3. Both of them got out for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Alright, 
so she's going in for her warrant. And she'll go in for the drugs. We'll call transport down here. Uh, Alright, so we're going to have another transport come by and pick up this suspect back here. Looks like there, she's going to take this one in our, in our vehicle. So we just move her out of the way. Move her right there so they can pick her up. All units, we have a structure on fire in, uh, Fort Zancudo. <laughs> All right. So one went to jail for a warrant, the other one went to jail for drugs. Make sure they both get picked up. Kind of a quiet day. We haven't really done a lot. We've had, you know, two traffic stops, mostly, so far. We'll see what else we can get into. We're gonna head this way for a little while, right towards Sandy Shores. We have a possible 503 in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, we got a stolen bus. Attention all units. We there have it is. Over Grande Sonora Desert. Assistance needed in Grande Sonora Desert. Respond code three. Suspect He's running. Get on the ground. He didn't get far. I want to move my vehicle. We're going to put him in the vehicle and we're going to move the vehicle.
can park it right here. We have trespassing in Stab City. Get a plate on this bus. Target vehicle license plate. Four four Henry George David six niner six. A traffic violation. Officers report approach with caution and the Alamo C. All right, so we're just gonna make it disappear. We'll just say a record come by and picked it up like that. I'm gonna call local in. Assistance needed in Grande <coughs> Sonora Desert. Copy that. On the way. We're gonna pat him down and get his name and everything. Wanted to mark you it on the scene though. Well, the bus did not come back stolen when we're done the plate, we so. Have a civilian requiring assistance All right, he has a baggie, baggie of capsules, a few two milligrams of vanilla pills. A receipt, a wedding invitation. I'm just putting them in ours for right now. They use we their have trunk. A person with a firearm, a suspect resisting arrest. And Zancudo River. M M D M A M D M A. All right. So he's on drugs. Desert units respond code two. All right, so he's gonna be going to jail. Where do I, like I said, I'm not gonna charge him with the um the bus being stolen because it wasn't. So I'm just gonna charge him with um. See, I'm looking for we we'll just use this. And then we'll charge him with the drugs. We're gonna let this mark unit take them in. We would, uh, like I said, situations like this when I uh, do unmarks, I always call in a mark Assistance unit. Required in Grande Sonora Desert. You know, stuff like this because a lot of times, a lot of these states they don't allow 
just to unmark to be unseen. Turn. So they're gonna take him in. We'll go down and ride through Stab City. Let me sit that call ended. Yeah, it did. Oh, my controller. Yeah, my controller messed up there. Hold on. We've got a 503 and the Alamo C. We have reports of a stolen ambulance. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, we're in Sandy Shores. No fight, Sandy Shores PD. Got damage on our truck because the controller is connected. Yeah, <laughs> hit that sign. We're gonna see if we can get a spike strip on it. I'd rather uh, you spike it and then you can replace the tires and then wreck it. Yep, they got it. Oh, that was perfect. That was a perfect spike. Get out of the vehicle. Get out. Put the gun down. You're screwed. Stop the vehicle. Go to hell. Don't make me use this. I'm trying to escape on foot. Like 
Now, the, so the problem with this is, guys, is when you use stop the pet, you can't arrest like an officer or something like that because they won't let you stop the pet. So when you have calls like this, you have to let AI to make the arrest because you can't do nothing. And with our vehicle being damaged, we're gonna have to. The top of the car is mashed. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we'll have to go to hand sand the shore and let them fix our vehicle. A membership card to the Los Santos Golf Club, a screwdriver, an unloaded high point JCP handgun, and a broken off knife blade. Well, well I guess we will. We have a Grand Theft Auto and Grande Sonora Desert. We're gonna go fix it anyways. Alright, let's go ahead and run the plate on we know that Target vehicle license plate for Yeah. John Young Tom. Oh no, Los Santos County. Target is 10-4. Target is 10-4. We'll, we'll go ahead and get it towed. Flatbed. Assistance required in, uh, Grande Sonora Desert. That Sandy Shore's car is still here? No. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do his paperwork. Take him down to the station before we end this and fix our vehicle. From our controller it stopped working and we hit that sign back there. Uh, the vehicle's not coming back stolen, so I'm not going to charge him with that. I, I don't believe in charging him. It's not coming back stolen. So we're just going to charge him from fleeing from police and reckless driving. Because it, it's not coming back stolen, so. Controller just down again. So we're going to take him down to Sandy Shores. I, I see why they didn't put a ram bar on this thing, but th this thing would be, it would look wicked. This, uh, GMC if it had a ram bar had a wrap around on it. Oh, yeah, it looked really it looked good But I know why they didn't put it in there because all the lights in the grill and it would be the ram bar would block the lights in the grill
pull over here to SSPD. Let another officer take him in. We're going to pull right over here and say this is where we can get our car fixed. Citizens report a disturbance. Right here. Just pull right here and fix our vehicle real quick. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this patrol. I uh, wanted to get in here and use this 2022 GMC Yukon uh, that is on lspdpart.com. Uh, this is a, a, a Christmas tree when it comes to lights, as you can see. Uh, thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone who's been watching LSPDFR. And like I said, remember, guys, um, we we will have special videos like that. When something happens, um, we don't just play LSPDFR for fun, or I don't. I, I play it because I enjoy everything about what the police does. Uh, I'm not against them. I totally support them and what they do. And um, you know, and then when you know something bad happens here, where I'm from, I'm gonna you know it, it's gonna be recommend recognized in these videos. So and that's what it's gonna be. So and, and if you can't you know if you can't understand that you know the best thing you do is unsubscribe and go to another channel because. We don't just play this for fun. We play it for fun, but we also play it because this is the kind of content that we that I, that we like, and this is what we want to do. Um, I know there's a lot out there that doesn't like it, and that's fine. So, thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good night.